All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel, you beautiful people. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in this world. Let's get it going. Goodness, guys, we are in 2022 now. This is fantastic. I'm feeling a massive flux of just spiritual gains, and I mean that in a very positive way. You know, we've gone through so much this past year and a half with just, you know what, the pandemic, and there's just so much more awareness going on. And with awareness, a lot of times comes shadows. A lot of times it's almost backwards. It seems like the more we know, the more we don't want to know. You know what I mean? But that's only the first step, guys. Mastering it, harnessing it, it does give you peace at the end of the day. It gives you a more balanced, equilibrium way of living. And if that made no sense, well, we'll explain further in this video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable. I'm going to open up a little bit into my own shortcomings or things I'm dealing with, uh, things I want to get better at, because this is something every man will struggle with. I don't care where you are in your life, you will struggle with this. You either have or will. And it's good to be open. We have to explain this stuff, express it, and then that's how we get better. So in today's video, guys, I believe I titled it The Way of the Superior Man. Now, a lot of you guys have read this book and you comment below, ooh, it seems like, David, you read this book. Yes, this is my all-time favorite book by David Data, David Dita. Uh, definitely check it out. It's of the Vitruvian Man, right? The cover, it's a nice yellow uh, picture and it's fantastic. Now, in this book, David Data speaks on a ton of things on really mastering yourself as a man. He really actually goes into depth on nofap, semen retention. He speaks of, you know, a lot of uh, relationship dynamics and just bettering yourself as a man. It's fantastic. Now, what I'm speaking of in this video doesn't really have to do anything with that book in particular, but it's something that I do believe... Um, Every single superior man has. I really believe this is one of the epitome traits of being a man, and it's something I'm telling you I, I struggle with. It's something I've learned over the past two years. It's been this one thing. I've definitely gotten better at it, but I still have um, a while to go, as we all do. And this, guys, is mastering when to take action and when to be still. Now, in case you guys are unfamiliar with what I mean, when to take action and when to be still. This is holy shit. This is something that every single man struggles with. Now, I would say the majority of people, right, like myself prior to this condo, are in the still realm. They are too still. They have absolutely no clue when to take action, when to fire, right? And you see this through every single depiction, every single movie, every single hero's book. There are archetypes of a man. We have the warrior, we have the lover. Do you understand? We have the yang, we have the yin. We have the yes, we have the no, we have the hot, we have the cold. I mean, you look at nature, you look at seasons. We have up, down, we have left, right, we have on, off. There is two. And as a man, knowing when to turn on and when to turn off, right, is the balance of life. Because there is no in-between. This is what you need to understand as a man. Um, and the more in-between you have, the more you will suffer. This is a very important video. I have been dealing with a lot of control issues as of late, a lot of shadow work. This is one of my biggest demons, my biggest shadows, is um, almost feeling kind of helpless, right? And how this works, or this lack of control, is you revert to extremes. Do you understand? So in this condo, I have been <laughs> way to one extreme, almost becoming a tyrant, right? Just setting all these boundaries and always just being on edge and... Um, you know, just burning up, just being way too fiery. And of course, that will take a toll on you, of course. And then on the other end, I have been, um, you know, prior to this condo, way too quiet, way too passive, where you wouldn't speak up for anything. I think this is where a lot of people are at, right? But the moral of the story is when we are conflicted between the two, we're constantly in a flux, right? And that's when we suffer. The way of the superior man right? The superior man. It's not one particular person. It's the epitome of man. This is where we're all striving to go. He knows, or at least is on the pursuits of knowing, when exactly to turn the light on and then when to keep it off. And the reason I love that light analogy is because if you think of a light switch, right? You cannot have an in-between. The light is either on or off. Like right now, the, you know, the light's off. The lamp is on. There is no in-between. I can't like somewhat turn the lamp on or off. It doesn't work. You think of your heartbeat, right? The systole, diastole, I believe that's what it is. The lub-dub, the up-down. It's either contracting or not. Do you understand? Blood is either coming in or out. There's no in-between. You think of, I don't know, bouncing a ball on the ground. The ball is either moving down towards the floor or it's moving up. There's no in-between. In life, if you think about it, guys, there really aren't any in-betweens. And if they are, it is just a transition of the two. 
right? So spring is just a transition of summer and winter. But the two big seasons, if you think about it, right, the summer solstice and the winter solstice are just that. The yin, the yang. The reason I've suffered tremendously in this condo is because I have, I'll be honest, been in this in-between. And what that brings is that constant fight or flight. Because you're constantly battling. It's literally like two demons. It's like an angel and a demon. And this is how it feels like. And they're telling you things as far as like, you should do this. Yeah, fight. You know, turn the light switch on. And this one's like, no, no, no. Keep it off. Keep it off. Keep it on. Keep it off. And you're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, I'll give you an example right now. There was a, a neighbor that I just talked to, you know, very respectfully. And uh, long story short, there was a bunch of garbage just kind of like emanating from uh, from his condo and was getting into my condo. Again, not a big deal. You know, he threw it out. It was all good. There was an issue with the garbage chute, so it makes complete sense. You know, so it's, it's done. The light was on. And in that theory, it then turns off. But my issue now is... I'm having trouble turning that light off. And this is what I have had trouble with for a long time. And I think this is very common for a lot of people. This is what burnout is, right? I'm constantly anticipating like the next problem, right? If you guys watched my semen retention video, I spoke of this. It was exacerbated by semen retention. Everything in life felt like it was a, like we're on a hammer and everything was a nail. Everything you just had to fix, 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 fix. And, um, you know, that's fine and dandy, but what happens when there are no more things to fix? Like right now, things are okay. I'm calm. There's nothing inherently wrong. But why am I still in this fight or flight state? You understand? Why am I still anticipating? And as you guys know, where your attention goes, energy flows. If I continuously just anticipate and look for more problems, then more problems will come. And I'm essentially creating a hell, right? I'm not necessarily giving you guys a complete answer with this video because I'm still learning it. But in my opinion, the way of the superior man, and I know this is true, right? I know you can get there because if you look at elders, right? I think of Elliot Hulse as an example, right? And of course, maybe, you know, I don't know the full picture. I don't know him personally. But if you look at these guys who are usually in their 40s and 50s, they're very calm. And that's not because they don't know how to fire or turn on. That's because they've learned when to and when to shut it off, right? You think of your shut off as you're resting. You're calm. Nothing is wrong. Like, I should be completely shut off right now. There's... Nothing is going on. I should be completely shut off. And if or when something happens, that's when you turn on. All right, sorry, just change the camera settings. The light is bright. I'll finish it here with an analogy, okay? And now I'm actually pretty good at this. I'm good at applying it in this realm as I would argue a lot of you guys are, but when it comes to just general life in this realm, I still struggle. And this is normal, this is good guys. I need to make it so clear. It's okay to struggle, it's okay to be confused. I get confused quite often. And that's why I make these videos. And now I tend to learn through experiences and I'm able to document it. But don't think like I just know everything. Hell fucking no. I struggle just as much as you guys, but just in different ways, in different realms. Think of it like a level game. You know, some of you guys may be on level five, but just because you pass that and you get to level 10 doesn't mean level 10, there are no challenges. And again, I'm not saying I'm necessarily better or higher than any of you guys, but this is what happens. This is what I've literally learned. You know, this is a side tangent and this whole video is kind of just a little rant. I remember a few years ago, right? Dealing with the struggles I had at that moment, the fear and the uncertainty I had is almost identical to the problems and challenges I have now, but the challenges are completely different. Maybe back then it was to do with money or just I didn't know where I was going and, um, you know, my YouTube channel wasn't taken off and I just, you know, I didn't have funds and I was confused, right? Well, it's the same thing, just in a complete different way. Maybe now they're bigger life questions like morality or, you know, you can kind of paint the picture, right? The challenges change, but that doesn't mean they necessarily get any easier. You just evolve and you grow. But to finish it off, the analogy that comes to mind with this all in or off, right? And mastering it, right? And this is why I know it is of vital importance, is powerlifting. Now, I've been into strength training, not necessarily powerlifting, but strength training for about five years now. So I'm talking heavy lifts, sets of three, sets of five on all of your compound lifts, your squat, your bench, your dips, your shoulder press, whatever it may be. And with strength training or even powerlifting, right, which is another extreme, you are either all in or all off, meaning you are completely contracting and lifting the weight, giving it your everything. And then when the weight is done, you are resting, you are sitting, you are completely chilling. You're not pacing around, you're not, you know, <laughs> getting ready for the next weight, putting it on your back. That doesn't make sense. You're just wasting energy. You are conserving all of your energy. You're just calm and you're just waiting. Literally, that's it. It almost looks like you're kind of lost or confused. And if you guys are powerlifters, you know this. They make memes. They say like they go take naps or something, right? But they're just chilling. 
right? Very calm, right? You think of a sport. Calm, 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 fire. Calm, 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 fire. Do you understand? That's the most optimal you will be in a sport. And I relate that in whatever sport to life. But for whatever reason, you know, <laughs> it's easier to apply it to a sport, something I guess a little separate than day-to-day -day life. And that's one of my biggest struggles this past year and a half. And that's something in 2022 I want to get better at. And you get better at it with maturity. You get better at it with experience, with age. That's why I'm not worried. I know I will get better at this. And I have. I've gotten a lot better of it now than I was a couple of years ago. But I'm still struggling to know um, when to fire and when not to. So I'll finish it here finally. How do you get better at this? Well, what I'm trying to do <laughs> and what I know right, that these guys do, is really just getting in touch with yourself. And this is why it's not easy. When you get in touch with yourself, you know the boundaries, you know when to speak up, you know when something crosses a threshold within you, and then you fire on that, right? It becomes almost automatic. But then if nothing is there, there is no threat, you relax. And that's why these older, wiser men, they're usually very calm. You can see they have the fire within them, but it's dampered, it's quiet, it's almost turned off right? Latent. It's there, like a genetic code, but it's, right, calm for the time being. So anyways, guys, that is it. I know this was a quite long video. Thank you so much for listening. You guys are the MVPs. You're the GOAT. I love you all, and I'm so glad that I'm able to document my experience with you guys, my highs, my lows, my confusions, my questions, uh, things when I don't have it all figured out, because I don't, man. You can see it in my eyes. Like, I don't have it all figured out. I'm learning this stuff as I go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I will finish it here, guys, on the final plugs if you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level in anything of what we talked about in this video or improving your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships, guys. There is always one-on-one -on -one coaching. You guys have been running it up. Spots are still open. We have the course, which is passive, three hours long. You guys know the flex. And finally, what I'm going to be promoting here is our workshop of January, guys. We are going live on Sunday, less than a week's time, guys. If you've ever been on the fence, check this one out. It is four one-hour calls with myself and a small group of men. All right, guys, live every single Sunday, once a week, and I would love to have you guys. It is 20% off. You can learn everything about it down below, and uh, I'm excited for this one. We're starting off the new year right, guys, purging out all these demons and just really becoming the best versions of ourselves. So if you're interested, you can learn more down below. You guys can always support Edge. Coupon code Hammond. This is their, I believe, white camo essential tea or enhanced tea. Let's go, baby. And I'll finish it there. Thank you, guys. Have an amazing day. I love you all. Well, comment below some things that you're struggling with or trying to get better at because that's why we have this channel. We're a brotherhood. We're not perfect. You're not supposed to be. We all struggle with things, okay? So repent, put them out there, and you and God both will fix them. All right? Thank you, guys. Have an amazing day. I love you all. Till then, much love. Peace.